That's good. Uh, what's going on, guys? Criminal Justice here. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your police lights nice and beautiful. Now, I did a tutorial on this the other day. First of all, God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless the troops that are fighting for freedom. God bless our veterans. And God bless Israel. So, I did a tutorial on ELS and ratings together. Uh, I think it was like a week ago. Now, the reason I'm, I did ELS yesterday and I'm doing Radiance today is because this is for the uh, fresh install file, okay? Um, now, the reason I'm doing it again is because I want to make sure you guys are installing everything in a specific order the way that they're supposed to be installed, okay? Sorry about that, guys. Um, so, here's the thing, guys. Let's go ahead and download Radiance. Click the link down there. All right? It's going to bring you to this page right here, Radiance V 1.8, all right? So we are going to scroll down, and we are going to click right here, as always. And give it time to load up, of course. Technology has a mind of its own at times. I hope you guys are having a great week so far, man. I hope you guys are happy when you want to be in life, and that you're staying consistent with prayer with God or some kind of meditation. Guys, you want the very bottom one, the Radiance V 1.8.zip. Okay, that's the one we want. Guys, thank you so much uh, for tuning in my live streams this week. Don't forget tonight we will be live streaming Farming Simulator 19. Uh, so we will be uh, doing that. And I'm going to try to start my stream a lot earlier than what I did have the last couple times, guys. Um, last night I, I had to start it so late because my wife ended up getting sick and I had to take care of her for a while until she went to bed. And then, you know. But we will try to start it as early as possible tonight, guys, because I know a lot of you have different time zones than I do. Uh, so what do you want to do with Radiance V, guys? You can click Save here to put in your downloads folder, or click that little arrow and click Save As and put it where you'd like. So now that we have that downloaded, go ahead and close out your window. All right. And next up, we are going to need our Grand Thesis. No, we need Open IV. Okay, so here's the thing, guys, with Open IV. If you do not have Open IV installed, I will leave a link in the description below showing you how to install Open IV. Now, here's what I want you to do. If you don't have Open IV installed, if you don't have Open IV installed, click that link and watch the video all the way up to the point. Listen to me. All the way up to the point to where I start talking about the ASI manager. Once I get to that point, stop the video and come back. Because that video shows you how to actually install Open IV and how to pick your pathway and all that. And you know, but I'm gonna show you guys on this video how to load your ASI manager. So when you get to the ASI manager part on that video, just stop and come back, okay? So here we go, guys. We're going to need open IV, so pull up your open IV. You should have a shortcut by now if you watched the first video. All right. So sorry about the crime in the background, guys. All right, now here's what you want to do, guys. You are going to select Windows for Grand Theft Auto 5 right here. All right, and it's going to start up. And I hope you guys, um, guys, I really appreciate you guys tuning in everything this week. My my video content, my live streams. Uh, like I said, guys, I am going to try my best to live stream a lot earlier than what I have been. Because I know a lot of you, you know, everybody has different time zones. And, and I don't want to, I don't want to stream too late anyway because I get tired pretty early. I'm a like, you know, I'm like a, like a 10 o'clock bedtime type of guy. If I can ever get to bed on that time. But that usually doesn't happen. So, which is why I lose a lot of sleep. And the fact that I have insomnia kind of as to that too so uh, all right guys so you when you pull up your open iv you are going to have this tab pop up right here this is asi manager okay we're going to click the asi manager right there all right and these three right here need to be installed okay the first one should automatically be installed but if it's not just go ahead and click install okay open iv.asi click install make sure both boxes are checked okay just like that and then click yes and then on open camera install that as well all right, I'm going to take you guys through this whole process. I'm going to show you how to copy and paste the necessary folders. It's going to save you on a lot of time. Trust me, guys. You need the update folder and the Time64 folder to install car, your police cars, your XML files, your gun sounds, your realistic looking weapons. You have to have these files. I don't care what anyone says. You have to have these files, okay? You got to have them. All right, so let's go ahead and close out of that. Now, if you will notice now in your open IV, there is now a mods folder. If you will double click on that, you'll notice it's empty. That's okay. That is okay for right now because we haven't added anything in there. We haven't copied and pasted no folders. Now, what is the next thing you want to do? 
Go ahead and minimize this. Minimize your OpenIV. All right. Pull up your GTA 5 main directory. All right. And now uh, you should have a mods folder in your GTA 5 directory. If you do not and you had your GTA 5 directory minimized and you pulled it back up, all you have to do to get that mods folder is click the refresh button, guys, and it'll pop right in here. So right here is your mods folder. It is also empty, and that is okay. That is okay. But there's a few things that we got to do before we actually install Radiance, okay? So here's what I want you guys to do. You are going to go down in your main directory and highlight update. You're going to right click and then copy, okay? Going to go back to your mods folder and go inside of the mods folder, right click and click paste, okay? So now your update folder is now copying inside of your mods folder, which is exactly what we want. Go back to your main directory. And click on the time 64 folder right click copy back inside the mods folder right click and paste okay just like that now there are some other files uh, that we will need to install into our mods folder and copy and paste them into there but we're not going to do that right now just for the sake of time we're going to do these two folders right here but later on as we get more deeper into open IV modifications there will be another couple of files maybe three or four that we have to copy and paste into our folder um so i will tell you that guys when we get to that point but this looks like it's going to take a minute maybe not too long my internet speed's going pretty fast so but i will see you guys when this is done okay guys so once we've got the update and the time 64 folders copied into our mods folder uh, i'm going to show you that this is for a very good reason now this right here that we're in right now you should be in uh, Steam Maps Common Grand Theft Auto 5 Mods. That's where we should be at right now, okay? Now, this right here, your mods folder, is your pathway to your OpenIV, okay? Remember, guys, your pathway is your lifeline, okay? So, this is your pathway to your OpenIV. This is going to allow you to have access to your OpenIV and mod GTA 5 and LSPA 4 to the fullest extent, guys, okay? So, let's go back, all right? And we are going to refresh our folder, and we are now going to minimize our directory, okay? And open up your OpenIV, Okay, we're going to bring it over right here. Now, I've already got the pathway saved in here uh, for where we're going to be installing Radiance. So, let me go ahead and pull that up real quick. This is it right here, guys. Now, I'm going to tell you the pathway so you guys can follow this pathway, okay? And I'll tell you how to save it as well. So, this is where you're going to go. You are going to go to Mods. Click on Mods and Open IV. Then click Update. Update.rpf, common, and data. And that will bring you right here to where it says visual settings.dat, which is the folder that the file that we're going to be using to install Radiance into, okay? So here's what you want to do. Now, once you get to this pathway, guys, go up to your favorites and click add to favorites, and it will say data and update.rpf, or you can erase that and name it whatever you want. You can put like a Radiance installation or, or whatever you want. And then just click add, okay? And that will add it to your pathway. As you guys see me do it a while ago. Um, so, for an example, let me go back. Alright, so if I go back and then click my favorites and go down to uh, data and update.rpf, it takes me right here. Every time. It keeps you from going to that pathway, guys. It really saves on a lot of time okay so here's what we're going to do guys um let me shrink this up a bit we don't need it open that much all right so we're going to go about probably right there now open up your radiance uh file and once you open it up you're going to double click on radiance v you're going to double click on visual settings and guys, listen to me. You do not you do not want very bright. If you put on very bright, you're not going to be able to see the road in front of you, okay? This is for your police lights to make your police lights gleam very bright and make them reflect off the walls, okay? Now, the one you want is bright. Just double click on bright. And then don't worry about installing the amber parking lights cuz all that's going to do is make your amber your your parking lights blink over and over and over again, okay? So what you want is the file that says visual settings.dat you are going to grab this, okay, and you're going to pull it over in your open IV just like this. Make sure that your edit mode is on, okay, and go into open IV and see how it says encry compressed, encrypted. Yours should say that, okay, unless you've installed something else there. 
once we drop this, guys, it will go from compress encrypted to just compress, and that encrypted word will disappear. Three, two, one, drop. All right, now see that? How the encrypted word disappeared? So now your radiance is now installed. So we can close out of our WinRAR, get rid of our shortcut, and then go over to your open open for and go to file and close all archives all right and then close out of your open IV go back to your main directory and refresh it and close out of that now here's what I want you guys to do because I'm not going to go into game on this there's just really no need for me to do it all you got to do guys is go into game get in a police car and go code 3 turn the lights on you're going to notice a big difference in me immediately like you're going to notice that those police lights went from a default GTA 5 police light to now a radiance installed police slide okay so it's gonna they're gonna be very bright uh, and and what I suggest you guys do is um, look at them during the day and if you have a simple trainer you can change your daytime to nighttime and then look at them at the night and see how they bounce off the walls because it's really awesome guys okay uh, but thank you for tuning in my video I appreciate the love and support guys and girls as always my Google Docs will be in the description below you can uh, go in there and get all the LSPFR uh, essential mods that you need, along with the main mods themselves. Everything I use in my game, guys, are in those Google Docs, uh, and they are there and available for download. Do not forget, guys, tonight I will be live streaming Farming, um, farming Simulator 19, okay? So don't forget to tune in on that, guys. Uh, make sure you subscribe to me if you haven't already. Like the video, share it. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your dog about it, okay? Whoever, just sh just to share share my channel, guys, okay? Because I would greatly appreciate it. My PayPal is also down there in my Google Docs. I would greatly appreciate it if you dollars thrown my way. It would really mean a lot, guys. So, I love y'all so much. Hope to see you in the live stream tonight. Till next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.